Hello everyone. In this video, let's see the introduction of AWS Glow Studio. Just like any other tools like Informatica, Talon, AWS Glow is also a GUI based ATL tool. Let me navigate to AWS Management Console, Glow. Within the ATL header, we have AWS Glow Studio. Clicking on that. We have two windows, create and manage jobs and monitor job runs. In create and manage jobs, we can create the ETL pipelines and transformation logics. In monitor job runs, we can get end-to-end -end statistics of all the jobs created in the globe. Let's create the job. By default, we have an option defined with source and target along with apply mapping transformation. But let's create the job from the beginning. I'm selecting blank graph. Create. This is the GI interface of Glow Studio. Every pipeline in Glow Studio is termed as nodes. Just like in Informatica, the pipelines are termed as transformations, and in Talon, they are termed as components. Let's now understand the behavior of Glow Studio by creating a scenario of loading the data from S3 bucket to Oracle or DS instance. Navigating to S3 bucket, ETL AWS. We have a file named employeesetl.csv. Let's load this into Oracle table table name is employees and the table is empty right now let's start creating the nodes by clicking blue plus icon let's name it as employee source node type we have data source where we can define source data we have data target where we can define target data and we have transform where we can define the transformation logics. I'm selecting S3 source. Data source properties, database is S3, table is employees ETL. Output schema displays all the columns from the source along with its data types. Let's create a new node to map the column using apply mapping transform. Let's name it as map node type apply mapping node parents node parents are the ones which defines the pipelines of the data flow we get the data from the source and node parents decides from which node the data has to be propagated since we need to propagate the data from employee source node to map node we have to select node parent as employee source. Once selected, you can see the pipeline symbol from source node to apply mapping node. Transform tab. This tab provides the details of source columns with data types. And we can change the data types and we can also drop the columns. Let's drop few columns to be flown to the target. Output schema defines only the columns to be flown to the target. Columns we selected to drop will not be displayed. Let's create new node for target. Let's name it as employee target. Node type is data target. AWS Glue Data Catalog. If you want to know how to import source and target data into Glue, please watch the video provided in the description. The source and target data will be saved in AWS Glue Data Catalog node parents 
we can select map as node parents data target properties database is oracle or ds table as employees include the table names are saved with database name and schema name and the prefix output schema provides the list of columns in the employee table let's navigate to script tab ETL transformations created in the visual tab is automatically converted into PySpark script. Let's navigate to job details. Let's name the job AWS Glue S32 Oracle RTS. Description Load the data from S3 bucket to Oracle RTS. IAM role ETL is already created type as spark we can select glue version python version worker type number of workers we can bookmark we can provide number of retries timeout limit advanced properties we can provide script name we can provide the path of s3 bucket where the script log file and temp file has to be saved we have security authentications We can provide python libraries, jars and referenced file path if applicable. Job parameter can be provided if required. Tags can be added. Let's save the job. Let's navigate to run details. No jobs are executed yet. Let's run the job. Job is running. Job is succeeded. Let's check if the data is loaded into the table. The data is loaded successfully. And you can see the last four columns as null. Since we enable drop option in the apply mapping transform node. Job description tab provides us complete details of the job. Job ID, status, logs, execution time, etc. Now let's move to monitor job runs. We can see complete statistics of all the jobs executed in Glow Studio. Thank you guys. Please subscribe the channel and comment in case of any queries. See you in the next video.